Okay. Rhino, is that for Tanya and Movies? It is, but it would be kind of a deep cut to pull it out. Oh. Y'all were talking mm. about this movie. Venom. There you go. Well, I just guessed. So we were just talking about it. That, yes, mm. I would have never put Venom yeah. and that <laughs> uh, sort of together, but it's probably like one of the Deadpool things. It's just kind of in the movie in that way. It's when he's riding a, spoiler alert, he's riding a Venom-possessed horse. Ah, well, I'm sure if you've seen the movie or if you know the movies, that's probably not too much of a spoiler um, in that way. But not to spoil it, though, Tanya, how was its opening weekend? Was that this weekend or last weekend? It was last weekend, and it was number one, uh, $51 million. But by the standards of the movie, movie biz, it's a bomb. That's crazy. How do you, how do you number one and you still, know. Not, you know. Um, and I'm sure they'll continue to make money. And Venom has a very, very devoted follower follower group and so i'm sure it will continue to make money so hopefully well if i want to be a disappointment i want to do it in first place <laughs> <laughs> i know and i think this is the last of the venom movies too so maybe people were just busy last weekend with halloween and they'll get out this weekend so it's been two weekends i mean last weekend and then you got this upcoming weekend what's kind of coming to the top yeah the big one this weekend i got to see yesterday it is so good it's called here and this is the new Tom Hanks and Robin Wright, and so and directed by Robert Zemeckis, who these this is the trio from Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. It's hard to believe how you know that movie came out so long ago, um, and you know from the time they finished filming that one, they talked about wanting to work together, you know, again, and it's taken all this time to just get the right project pulled together. But this movie. Um, it's PG-13. I don't think any kids are going to want to see this movie, but I can assure you every adult in your life is going to love it. It is so well done. It's unlike anything I've ever seen, um, it's shown the camera never moves the entire movie. So you are watching the world go by from this one perspective, the whole movie. And it's, it Time travels. It goes back to um dinosaurs you see dinosaurs you see uh indigenous people you see slaves building a plantation all the way up to current modern day and all the people it's from the perspective of this little piece of land what started off as land um, eventually a home is built on it um and so it's the perspective of the people are you're you're seeing the perspective of the people uh, that come and go through this living room. You're you're kind of looking at a living room and out the front window into everything that goes on around. And Tom and um, Robin are kind of the cornerstone, I guess, of the story, even though there's a lot of characters that come and go. Um, it just is a, a really cool way to just tell a story of how time just goes on. You know, what is this person's dream home was the house that somebody had to just live with settle for um and anyway it's hard to explain except go see it uh and it's one of those i was so mesmerized by the movie itself that the ending came and caught up i mean caught me off guard real fast and it was a very emotional ending I know. I figured, I figured it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. But it's so good. And um, there was a couple. There weren't very many of us there because it was 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Everybody else is trick or treating. And um, <laughs> anyway, there was a couple that left out right before me, and the the husband was like comforting the wife. <laughs> so I felt, you know, I was glad I wasn't the only one because I had tears too. Do you think it'll do as well as they're hoping it will? I think it will because I think everybody's ready for something like this. This is to me, this is what a movie should be. I mean, this is a, it's it just takes you out of this world, and it's so much that you can relate to. No matter when you were born, you're going to see something. It's cool to see the house transform from you know way back in Civil War times to current day. All the styles you could tell by the television by the decor what year it was what decade it was and it was fun to see like a birthday party in the 70s um the tv shows in the 60s 
Um, so anyway, and I think everybody's really excited to see Tom and Robin together again because everybody loves them from Forrest Gump so much. Would you go see it again? Um, I think I would. Um, and another thing, this is one that I think it, you do need to see on the big screen. Um, it's not, it's just visually so interesting. I've never, like I said, I've never seen anything like this. Your The camera never moves the whole movie until the very, very end. You get to, it, they go outside and show you what, you know, the outside of what you've been watching this whole time. But um, the little neighborhood and all that. Do they give you, like, state, place, or anything like that? Or is it just, like, they give you more of, like, a location where the house is at? Well, they give you a little bit of history. And, unfortunately, I'm not very smart. (laughs) I mean, I just don't remember my history well enough. But, like, at one point they allude to Ben Franklin lived across the street. So, wherever he's from. There you go. (laughs) Would be. And Jeff and Pontotoc, the name of the movie's here. Yeah, here. Yeah. Here. Like, yeah. Um, But, yeah, it's just over an hour and a half. So to me, it's not too long, perfect. Um, Now, when I saw it yesterday, they were loaded up with previews uh, ahead that added about 20 minutes. So if you don't like trailers like I do, I love to go for the trailers. You could wait about 10 minutes and go in and, um, you know. Wouldn't miss anything that way. Yeah. So what else is out there? Well, that's it as far as new movies. Um, But like we talked about a while ago, Venom is number one. Um, Smile Mm 2, number two, last weekend, and I'm sure it'll do well again this weekend. Something I did not know when we talked about this a couple weeks ago is the guy with the creepy smile in this movie is Jack Nicholson's son. I think I saw something about that. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, he he can't help but have a creepy smile, right? (laughs) He got got it honest. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And then The Wild Robot, which I finally got to see. It is such a cute, sweet movie. Uh, it's number three, and it has made over a hundred million dollars in just three or four weeks now. So it is doing really well. I wouldn't be surprised if this one wins best animated feature. Does it make you cry? It does. Why well, you gotta find me something? I don't want to scream. I don't want to cry. I know Lupita. Anything making me laugh? <laughs> Lupita N- Nyong'o voices uh, the robot in this one, and she is like really making me mad lately because she's making me cry a lot because she's in this one she was in a quiet place day one she made me cry in that one so i need to see her in a comedy or something yeah we gotta switch it up just yeah but i even when i saw the um i guess the trailer for the robot one i was like that one that one's not gonna that one's gonna end happy but it's gonna end sad yeah it's gonna be one of those for sure i know and they're all the animated movies are so good now i mean they're all for everybody now but I think this one, I think the adults are really going to appreciate it. And the kids are going to love it, too. Um, but, yeah, so next week we've got some happier movies. The best Christmas Christmas pageant ever is coming out. I'm really excited to see that. Um, that's supposed to be, um, that's like a faith, but isn't that a faith? Yeah, yeah. it is. And um, it's got a great cast, and uh, it looks like it's going to be really fun to watch um it's been a while since i've seen it on stage so um i'm glad so it's a play yeah it is and it's really i think it's maybe even a book you know i it's don't a know book that <laughs> yeah. features kids performing a play so it's a play with yeah. a book so this is a movie about a book with a play sure <laughs> full circle full circle moment. and now it's we like have Macbeth. the movie yeah <laughs> yeah just like Macbeth. Um, and then, of course, probably less tragic. Yeah. <laughs> right around the corner, we have Wicked. I was waiting on it, but I was like, maybe it's a few more weeks away. I know. It's the week of, well, the week before Thanksgiving. And I am so excited. Um, and same day, Gladiator 2 is being released. I'm really, I may have to go see that one. Yeah. Every time the commercial comes on, I see my husband perk up. He starts paying attention, so I know that one's in my future. I don't think I realized feature. Denzel Washington was in it until I've seen some of the trailers. I would go just to watch him, and, you know, he always does. He's such a nice guy, but he always does bad roles well. Yeah. Like, mean roles well. He plays a good, yeah. bad guy. Yeah, and so and I, I kind of want to, yeah, I would probably go for him. Yeah, and then Moana, too, uh, the week of Christmas, or Thanksgiving, so the day before, Wednesday before, 
So a lot of really good stuff coming. Sounds good. And I did mention I got to see finally um, Inside Out 2. And so oh, yay. I identify very well with anxiety. Yes. They did a really good job <laughs> <laughs> with that particular uh, character. All right. Thank you, Tanya. You guys stick with us. we got more for you coming up next.